Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're going to do square numbers with Lego. My guest presenter is going to help me going through the square numbers. So they're numbers where that number times itself makes a square. So what's the first square number? One times one, which is one. One, because you got one times one. What's the second square number? Four, which is two times two. Four. The next square number then? Three times three, which is nine. You got three by three, making a nice square of nine. And then the next square number? Four times four, which is 16. Okay, you got four there by four there. 16, what's the next square number? After one, two, three, four, so it's going to be five. Which would be five times five, which is 25. Okay, so let's see if we can build that one. Assemble it. So that's going to be six. Maybe we'll do those vertically. There we go. Add a little square in there. Down in it, and that block in there. Which that 25. makes 25. 25 little dots on top of the Lego numbers, Lego blocks. Studs. Studs, thank you. What's after five? Which would be six times six, which would be... So six times six. Yeah, some six, a little bit to get them to lock in. Which would be 36. And we can see there, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Let's uh, build one more, which would be, so we've got, these are all the square numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do the seventh square number. So seven which times seven is? 49. 49, so if I start that one there, maybe you can continue it. We've got four by four there, so then we need to maybe do uh, that makes it up to six. One more row along the bottom. That makes seven. And we get four along the, sorry, three along the top. That makes seven along the top. And there we go. That's seven by seven. What's seven times seven? 49. 49. And to save time, we've built the next three. Which so, are 81, nine times nine. So that's Wait, eight. Yeah, 64. 8 times 8 is 64, and 9, 9 times 9, the yellow one is 81, that's 81, and then it's 10, 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times 10 is 100, thank you very much, so there we go, that is all these square numbers in Lego, so you can use them when you're doing a maths question on square numbers, but it also comes up in a thing called difference of two squares, where you might look at 9 squared minus 5 squared, so 81 minus 25, or in algebra, or one of the ones I really like is uh, Pythagoras. So if I put that this way, you can see that this was 4 times 4, which is 16. And if I put a 3 times 3 there, which is nine, the sum of those squares then square rooted uh, is gonna give us 25. So that's how Pythagoras worked out the sides of triangles and missing one little piece there. I'm missing a little piece. I'll steal it from that one. There we go. Oh, I'm missing to make that again. That's why it didn't work. There we go. So that's Pythagoras, where five times five is 25. And what he noticed was that a triangle of side three and four had a hypotenuse of side five, because those two add up to that one. So that nine plus that 16 adds up to that 25. There we go. That's square numbers and some applications for algebra and Pythagoras. Thanks to my guest presenter. Bye. And goodbye from me. Goodbye.